Hey, it's me, Monchichi. I'm coming to do my weekly healthy lifestyle challenge update. And this week, I have good news. Last week, I gained two pounds. This week, I lost two pounds. So I'm back on the down slope, and I'm excited. And I have to give it up to that banging body boot camp meal plan that I got from Black Onyx 77's channel. I did a video for on my channel. Um, to outline how I kind of altered it, not majorly, but just adding things that I actually like to the meal plan um, with some of the things that she had mentioned, but pretty much I stuck to what she had outlined and it worked great. One thing that I did change is that she recommends the um, Fiber One original cereal for breakfast. And because I don't eat my cereal with milk in it, I eat my cereal dry, and it was just too fibery for me. And so what I did was I added the vanilla almond shredded wheat cereal that I was eating before. I added a half of a serving to that just to cut some of the calories back and still add a little bit of the flavor, and that worked perfectly. Other than that, I pretty much stuck to the meal plan. I think a couple of days I didn't pack my salad and take it to work with me, so I just ate it when I got home with the fish that I normally would have ate for dinner with a, with another vegetable. Other than that, I stuck to the plan from Sunday, once I got everything um, that I needed, to this morning when I weighed in, and I lost two pounds, so that was really, really awesome without being able to go to the gym. So hopefully once I able to get back to the gym and I can stick to this meal plan it will work out really good I didn't feel hungry you know I drank plenty of water and I just felt a whole lot better this week I just really did now the second part of this video I wanted to touch on fiber and why it's so important in her um, video she mentioned that her personal trainer stated that um, one thing was that 80% of your weight loss is based on what you're eating and just sticking to this meal plan for the last few days it just proves that it's true because I did not get to work out I just did my normal daily activities and I still lost two pounds solely based on what I was eating now of course that's only going to last for so long but it just shows how crucial it is that you have to watch what you're eating along with with the exercise so that's one thing. The other thing he mentioned was that it's important to eat foods that are high in fiber. And so what I did was I just pulled up some bullet points that I want to share about why fiber is so important. And also I'm going to show you some kind of some some foods that you can sneak kind of sneak your fiber in for either yourself, for your husband, for your significant other, for your kids, and that way everybody can get the fiber that they need. Now, um they recommend that women 50, at least 50 and under get 25 grams of fiber a day and women 51 and over get um, 21 grams of fiber a day. So and that's really important that you take in that fiber. Um, one thing about fiber is that it's not digested. Um, it passes through your digestive tract which is cool because it doesn't, it doesn't provide any nutrients but it doesn't provide any calories and that's good also it makes you feel fuller sooner and it stays in your stomach longer so you it slows down your digest digestion and it keeps you feeling fuller longer so you're going to eat less and that's key because a lot of times it's hard to stick to a diet when you're hungry all the time and you want to eat something so when you eat foods that are high in fiber it just curves your appetite more so you're not going to eat as much also, the fiber, it moves the fat through your digestive system so that it's not absorbed and then it turns into fat cells on your body. Also, it helps regulate your insulin level because when you eat foods that are high in carbohydrates or just are carbohydrates, your insulin level goes up. And then once your body is done with that, your insulin level drops significantly and so that makes your body crave more carbohydrates to bring your insulin level back up to normal. Well, what the fiber does, it helps regulate your insulin level so you don't have that high spike and then that low drop that's going to make you hungry and crave those carb sugary foods. 
And so you want to try to make sure you're eating foods that are high in fiber, beans, vegetables, um, whole grains, because white rice and white bread or even the bread that say wheat but they're not 100%, they've had a lot of the fiber removed and so you want to try to avoid those carbohydrates. If you're going to eat the carbohydrates, you want them to be ones with fiber in them. So, you know, that, that, that helps with the insulin levels and helps regulate that. So here are some places that you can sneak fiber and um, get it in for you and your family. One place is in this cereal. I mean, yeah, it wasn't that tasty. Probably would have tasted better had if, if you were eating it with milk, maybe put some fruit or something in, in your cereal, however you like to eat it. Or if maybe um, you put maybe some almonds or some dried cherries and, or dried raisins or something to just give it a little taste, it will work out good. But this, a serving size, which is just a half a cup, it's only 60 calories, but it has 14 grams of fiber in it. That is big. That's over half of what you need for the whole day. Boom, right there. You eat this you know twice a day a half a cup twice a day you're straight if you can handle it okay um then fiber one also makes these fiber one yogurts. these are great I, you can find them in walmart that's why i ended up having to get them from um they're only 50 calories no fat and if they've got five grams of fiber in each one and they come in key lime pie strawberry peach and vanilla flavor and they're really good so this is good for like your kids um because most kids will eat yogurt so this is a good way to kind of sneak that fiber in and and they're not going to taste it because it really tastes really good also for dessert um i found these um black onyx um, meal plan she mentioned that for dessert she eats the sugar-free um yogurt i mean uh sugar-free pudding snacks and so when I went to get them, I found these. These are also sugar-free. They're also 60 calories and fat-free just like, well, not fat-free, excuse me, one gram of fat, like the normal sugar-free um, pudding snack. But this has three grams of fiber in it. So, and it also has the um, prebiotic, uh, what do you call it, the good bacteria in it so this is a good way to sneak it in like I said to your family to your kids especially to sneak that in and it tastes really good and I also found these these are the healthy choice fudge bars they're only a hundred calories they only have one gram one and a half grams of fat and this has um, five grams of fiber also and it tastes really good I think Weight Watchers makes a fudge bar also I'm not sure what the what the data is on that but I know they make one too I mean this is just a good way to kind of sneak that fiber into your diet without adding a lot of calories and it's sweet stuff it's dessert stuff so um that is good places to find get your fiber other than the normal food foods that normally have fiber in them already so I hope that helps you guys I'm so excited and I can't wait for next Friday to give you guys um another update and I hope that um, that is much better and I lose even more. One more thing I forgot to mention is that I was drinking soy milk before and um, somebody put me on to almond milk and when I went to the store they had unsweetened almond milk. For an 8 ounce glass it's only 40 calories and it's got the vanilla flavor plus it's got a little bit of the almond flavor and it was really good and I was impressed. So if you don't want dairy, you don't want soy, almond is a good option. If you get the unsweetened one, you're cutting a lot of calories because it's only 40 calories. And that's really good. So until next week, toodles.